and welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is how to handle conflict in your relationship. Well, anybody who watches my videos knows how important I think communication is in a relationship. If you have a communicative rapport with each other, you always are able to handle conflictive conversations, any arguments that come up. You know how to deal with them as a couple. You don't sit back and just let them unfold and pretend they're not there, walk away from them and just sweep it under the rug. You take charge. This is what's really, really great when you have this type of a relationship. This is why communication is always number one in my books in any partnership you have. Because if you can always sit down and have a talk about anything that's going on, good and bad, you're always on the same page with how you share things with each other. This is what makes a really great couple is when you can sit down, even after work, you take a half an hour, you have a little conversation with each other about what happened during your day. You stay connected. A lot of the times when we're in sort of longer term relationships, we let a lot of things slide because we're not putting the importance on having a conversation with our partner. We're more concerned about what needs doing around the home, what needs happening with the kids, our priorities with the finances. If you don't stay connected and communicate with each other, you're not going to have a relationship because this is the biggest problem that many couples have over time. They forget how to talk to each other. And if you forget how to do that, the foundation of your relationship starts to crumble. What is there to keep it going if you're not talking about things? We all argue, we all have disagreements, but the important thing is not to point fingers at each other, not to throw blame. You did this, you did that. Say what, how you feel. This is a good way to keep the conflict a little bit smoother is because you say, I am hurt by this situation that happened between us. I would like to resolve this as quickly as we can. Maybe we could try doing this. Maybe we could try doing that. If you sit there and say, well, you talk to me like this and I'm not having this anymore and I'm not going to put up with this. It just doesn't work because what happens is it makes the other person defensive. We're all going to be defensive a little bit. Okay. That's just the way it is. We don't want to hear we did anything wrong, but if you can hear it with constructive, a constructive outlook because your partner is relaying it to you that way, it's so much easier to move forward because you're not sitting there pointing fingers at each other. You're finding a way to resolve it. And this is why a lot of people have so much conflict that is repetitive because they're not understanding the importance of this. When you know how to sit down and talk to your partner and, and have some solutions already ready to be put out there, this really truly helps avoid having a further argument about what you're trying not to argue about. Sometimes as our relationships progress over the years, we get lazy. We just don't want to have to deal with this crap anymore. It should just be a given that we get along. We shouldn't have to go through all this bullshit. If we just shut down in our relationships and don't offer support, don't offer suggestions, don't try and come to terms with what transpired and why we're arguing about this situation, it's only going to escalate. Because if you keep burying it, it's going to keep coming up. And what happens after that? it becomes irreconcilable differences. And we all know what that means. That means that your relationship is starting to take a turn. You always want to be on top of everything in your partnership. As I said, if you don't point fingers at each other all the time, you take some ownership for your part in what happened. It's so much easier to get to the bottom of why it happened and how you can prevent it from continuing. The second important thing is to really hear what your partner's saying. Try not to get defensive. Hear what they're saying. Maybe they have a point. Maybe there is something that you can work on just as much as they can work on it. This is what is a, another thing that's really great when you communicate with your partner, but you also hear what they're saying. 
A lot of people talk, but they don't listen. And when you hear your partner's feelings, what they're telling you why they are going through what they're going through, how it's affecting them, what transpired, you can say to, to yourself, okay, now I understand maybe what not to do in the future or maybe what I can do to make it better. When you sit down and really share your heart with your partner, you always stay close. Sometimes your partner's viewpoint might be better than yours. You might actually learn something from what they say. This is the great thing about being open-minded and hearing your partner. Sometimes you can sit down and just say, wow, okay, I never thought of it that way. That makes so much sense. Okay, I'm gonna try that myself. And the third thing is, to know how to say sorry, know how to apologize, take ownership when you're wrong, take ownership when you know you can do better because nothing gives your partner more val validity is when you say to them, okay, I hear you, you're right, I, I'm i going to do better, I apologize for my part in this and they apologize for their part. It has to be reciprocated because the last thing you wanna do is be in a lopsided relationship where you're the one that's always compromising. There always has to be compromise in any disagreement because we're not always, we always don't have the same outlook with things and we have to respect that. If you wanted to be with somebody who's a clone of yourself, that would be pretty boring. So respecting your partner's opinion and they respect yours, you come to a compromise within your partnership as to what works moving forward. That is where you want to get to. This is the important part of evolving in any relationship is understanding that we're different. This is what makes us unique. When you both feel heard in your relationship, it's a win-win situation. It only gets better moving forward because you understand each other and you know you're not squashing each other's ideas or opinions. You're listening. You're giving valid you know, recognition to what they're saying. You're honoring their opinion. This is what makes a great relationship because you're hearing each other and you're taking the time to say, okay, all right, I'm going to see what I can do to make this better. And they're doing the same thing. If it's always in a reciprocated, communicative state, you're always going to be good together. This is one thing that I really want to stress in this video is how important communication really, really is. And it has to be ongoing if you want to continue a loving partnership. I mean, think about it. If you're ignoring your partner's point of view and you're ignoring theirs, all it does is cause the relationship walls to start coming down. And is that really the end goal of what you want? Or do you want to try and keep your relationship alive? This is what makes such a good partnership because you're respecting each other constantly. You're listening to each other. This is why it's so important to be on the same page for the most part within your relationship. Because when you see eye to eye with each other, and you also are open to maybe changing a few things, it makes a really amazing relationship and it just keeps you close and able to evolve together for many, many years to come. So don't lose this one simple thing that's so easy to fix. Communicate, listen to each other, apologize to each other if, if something isn't working out and find a way to come to a reciprocated compromise within your relationship. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber City Today. Please subscribe, please click like on the video, and please leave any comments or show topic ideas you would like me to do. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.